when the holidays come around, you're always looking for something new to make, something different. So I'm going to make a pumpkin praline tort. And this is going to use pumpkin and pecans, which are flavors of the season, and some spices. We're going to start off by making the praline. And in my pot, I have one third cup of butter or five and a third tablespoons of butter. I'm going to start that melting. And I'm going to add to that three tablespoons of heavy cream, heavy whipping cream, three quarters of a cup of light brown sugar, or you can use dark brown sugar in this if you want. And I also have three quarters of a cup of chopped pecans, but we're not going to use those right away. So I'm going to start by letting that butter melt. And I'm going to add to it that three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. So there's one quarter. And three quarters. Seal that up so it doesn't get all dried out on me. And then I'm going to add the three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. And now all we want to do is just melt this together so, so that the sugar dissolves and it becomes kind of creamy. That's going to take a couple of minutes. Now, while I'm doing that, I'll talk to you about the pans. I have here my pans, which I have greased, floured, and I've put a round of parchment paper in the bottom and greased and floured that too. This recipe can be made in an eight inch or a nine inch pan. Um, I've chosen to use these pans, I like them. They're eight and a half inch, which is kind of unusual, but that's what I'm doing. But you can do it in your eight or your nine, it'll just depend. If you make a nine inch, it'll be a little smaller of a cake or not as high. So here goes the praline, it's looking good. Just want to make sure all the butter gets nicely melted. There, it smells delicious. Turn off my burner. And now <clears throat> I'm going to divide this among the two pans. Swirl it around so it covers the bottom. And then I'm going to take those chopped pecans and just sprinkle those all around the top. Okay, now I'm going to just set this aside while I make the cake. So give me a minute to clean up the decks here and we'll make the cake. Now we're going to make the cake part, the pumpkin-y cake. I'm going to start off with two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, and then I'm going to add two teaspoons of my apple pie spice, my pumpkin pie spice, excuse me. In my pumpkin pie spice, because I won't remember it, I started out with three tablespoons of cinnamon, two teaspoons of ginger, two teaspoons of nutmeg, one and one half teaspoons of allspice, and one and one half teaspoons of clove. And I just mixed it up, and then I will put this in a sealed jar. This will keep a few months in my cupboard. So now we've got our dry ingredients mixed in. Put that aside for a sec. In my mixing bowl, one and two thirds cup sugar. My oven's ready, 
four whole eggs, and one cup of vegetable oil, or you can use canola oil. And I'm going to give that a little mix. That's enough. We just wanted to blend it a bit. Now to this, I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of my homemade vanilla. Don't want that to spill all over the kitchen. And two cups of pumpkin. There's the pumpkin in there. And then we'll add our dry ingredients after this is all well blended up. Here's our pans that we put the praline in already. I'm going to stop it for a minute and give it a little scrape down. Make sure everything's getting all blended in there. Smells great. I smell all those spices and that pumpkin. That's it. Get it in our pans. making sure it's all mixed in the bottom, which it is. And now, into the pans. My oven is on at 350 degrees, and this is going to bake 30 to 35 minutes, and when it comes out, we'll let it cool in the pan for about 10 minutes, then we'll turn them out, praline side up, to cool completely. And then we'll get going with our filling, which is cream. And we'll decorate it a little bit for the holidays. Make it look really nice. Snack. Here they go into the oven, 30 to 35. Here are our cakes out of the oven. I let them sit in the pans for about five or six minutes. 
Then I turned them out, took off the uh, parchment paper, and some of the nuts stuck, so I just took a uh, spatula and just scraped them out and patted them on. So this has to go and sit and cool down while we make the filling. So let me put it over here. Right, we'll let those sit there for a little while while we make the filling. Two cups heavy whipping cream, six tablespoons of confectioner's sugar, and I like to take a little whisk and kind of whisk it up a little bit and break out any lumps. And then I have two and a half teaspoons of gelatin, just plain gelatin, and one quarter cup of water. And I'm going to mix the water with the gelatin. And I'm going to take this over to the microwave and microwave it for 10 seconds. That's all it needs. So 10 seconds. Okay, and there's our gelatin. Now we're going to make the filling. <clears throat> In my mixer bowl with the whisk attachment, I'm going to put the heavy cream. Okay. I'm going to add to that the confectioner's sugar. And now I'm just going to beat this <clears throat> until we get uh, stiff peaks, and then I will add the gelatin. The reason we're putting the gelatin in is we are stabilizing the whipped cream. I could use it with just the cream and the sugar, but after I put it on the cake, and the cake sits, like you bring it out for dinner and you're showing, and it doesn't get cut right away, it'll start oozing because it's, there's nothing there to hold the cream together. But if you put the gelatin in there, the next day in the refrigerator, it'll still be nice. So let's try and do this now. And there we go. Now, I have a uh, pastry bag here with a fluted tip on it. You don't have to do this. If you don't have pastry bags, you can use a freezer quality Ziploc bag. I say freezer quality because sometimes if you use a, the, uh, just the regular ones, they're, they're very thin and the seams burst and they won't with a, with a thicker one. So now I'm going to put some of the cream in here. most of the cream actually. All right, now, put that aside just for a second. Now I need my first layer. Kind of stuck on there, it's very sticky. All that praline kind of oozed into the cake, which is just lovely. So now I'm going to put some of this on. I'm going to do that. I'm not bringing it all the way to the edge, and there's a reason for that, which I'll tell you in a second. Okay, now, take our cream. And we'll give it a nice edge. This is the part that shows. You can just do round rosettes. You don't have to do shells like this if this isn't your thing. Now, I need the other layer. Plop. That's centered. I have it centered. And now, big rosettes. And the rest of this cream, when you cut the slice, you can put a couple of rosettes on the plate. And now, I'm 
going to put some. This adds color plus taste. I think I'm going to put a rosette in the middle too. Nice big one. Put a few more. And then I have some mint leaves here. Again, we're looking at holidays. So I'm going to make this red and green theme. And as if that weren't enough, just one more little step. Here's my confectioner sugar. We'll give it a little snow. Just a little. And there is our holiday pumpkin praline tort. Delicious.